A Space Marine Dreadnought is a fearsome war machine, guided by a fallen hero entombed within its sarcophagus. The Dreadnought's chassis allows the pilot to continue to carry out his duty and to fight against the enemies of the Imperium despite the ruin of his physical body. Each Dreadnought can be configured to carry a variety of weapons, making it effective at a myriad of battlefield roles, from close range combat to tank hunting. In the wake of the devastation of Baal, the invasion of the Blood Angels homeworld by High Fleet Leviathan, an overwhelming number of wounded heroes remained who would not live to see the following day. And so, for the first time in thousands of years, every last Furiosa Dreadnought chassis stored within the fortress monastery was awoken, with its new occupant interred within its mighty shell. Since then, Furiosa Dreadnoughts have waged war at the forefront of many of the Blood Angels' most savage and bloodthirsty battles. Furioso Dreadnoughts are revered and ancient war machines, living relics that echo back to the Blood Angels' glorious past. Their veteran pilots are sometimes thousands of years old and have forgotten more battles than most of their fellow marines have fought. When not in battle, they slumber deep beneath the Blood Angels' fortress monastery, the Arx Angelicum, and are awoken only when the chapter has great need of their ancient wisdom and unbridled fury. The Furioso Dreadnought is a variant of the standard pattern Space Marine Dreadnought that's used by the Blood Angels and their many successor chapters. While standard pattern Dreadnoughts favour versatility and have both a ranged and close combat weapon arm, the Furioso Dreadnought often forgoes the ranged weapon and wields a pair of Furioso Fists. These are in effect massive versions of standard Space Marine Power Fists. They can also be fitted with the same configuration of underslung storm bolters and heavy flamers found on regular dreadnoughts. It can also wield a pair of blood talons, crackling dreadnought sized lightning claws, instead of the Furioso fists, which provide the walker with an even greater level of shredding power. Furioso dreadnoughts are therefore daunting adversaries in an assault, able to crumple infantry and tear through reinforced tank armour with ease. The Furiosa Dreadnoughts of the Blood Angels can also be equipped with war gear rarely seen amongst other Astartes chapters, such as the Frag Cannon and Magna Grapple. The Frag Cannon is a close support ballistic weapon that fires high calibre fragmentation shells. It's proven to be an extremely effective weapon against heavy infantry at close range. The Magna Grapple is a unique device that can be mounted on top of the chassis and uses powerful magnetic field generators and adamantium chains that lock onto an enemy vehicle's hull, allowing the Dreadnought to pull the vehicle closer, preventing it from escaping its grisly end. Although encased within a Dreadnought sarcophagus, and neurally linked with the machine spirit, it does not provide the pilot immunity to the effects of an affliction known as the Black Rage. The Black Rage is the result of a psychic backlash left when the Blood Angel's Primarch Sanguinius fell to Horus at the Siege of Terror. This was a terrible blow for the chapter and left an everlasting imprint which echoed through the Blood Angel's gene line, causing a genetic flaw that creates an unrelenting mental instability. Those who are overcome by the Black Rage are consumed by hate and anger, driven by maddened visions of their Primarch's death. These visions completely overpower any sense of reason or fear, and cause the afflicted warriors to frantically surge forwards towards the enemy and slaughter all in their path. In the heat of battle, this flaw also serves to gift the Astartes with a small portion of their Primarch's might, boosting their strength and vitality to superhuman levels, making them especially deadly warriors. Should a Dreadnought fall to the effects of the Black Rage, Losing such an experienced and wise warrior to the floor is a significant loss, for all the wisdom they have accrued over the centuries of battle is engulfed by a storm of hateful rage. Should such a fate occur, the Dreadnought is inducted into a special unit of the chapter known as the Death Company. Its armour is painted black and marked with a red cross, symbolising the fallen angel. When harnessed and directed by the company chaplains, 
Death Company dreadnoughts excel at spearheading assaults, crashing headlong into the enemy's lines in a crazed fury. The highly durable dreadnought chassis is able to withstand a tremendous amount of punishment and its unrelenting rage will result in the deaths of many foes before it's finally brought down. Because of this, they are often deployed alongside their fellow Death Company Marines in frontal assaults against heavily fortified enemy positions that are likely to incur a high casualty rate. Although they are unlikely to survive such horrific engagements, they can meet their end in an honourable fashion, slaying the enemies of the Imperium and fighting for the glory of the Emperor and their fallen Primarch Sanguinius. Deployment methods such as drop pods are sometimes used to deliver the Death Company dreadnoughts directly into battle. This allows the war machine to emerge at the heart of the enemy's formation for maximum effect. Alternatively, they can be transported via a Storm Raven gunship. The dreadnought is held in place with a powerful magnetic coupling, which is then released at the drop zone. In the battle's wake, however, the chapter's sanguinary priests must judge if the staggering, howling dreadnought is to be forcibly restrained and sent into stasis until their next battle, or in severe cases, given the Emperor's mercy and relieved of their life so that another can take their place. Death Company dreadnoughts are far too unstable to make use of the Furioso frag cannon and are always fitted with two close combat weapon arms, with either a pair of Furioso fists or blood talons. These weapons are especially potent when wielded by a Death Company Dreadnought and turn the walker into an unstoppable whirlwind of steel and fury on the attack. The Blood Angels Librarians are powerful psychers who survive the chapter's rigorous training process and learn to shape the mysterious powers of the warp. If a Librarian falls in battle, the Blood Angels would try to salvage the remains of their powerful psychic might by interring them into a Furiosa Dreadnought sarcophagus. Such powerful and gifted individuals have been known to retain their connection to the warp in this process. This combination of psychic ability, durable armor plating and titanic strength, all driven by the will of an unyielding machine spirit, melds together to create a truly terrifying warrior. Perhaps the most fearsome of all the Blood Angels dreadnoughts, Librarian dreadnoughts stride into battle wreathed in glowing psychic energies. Their pilots can unleash powerful blasts of searing beams, or call upon quickening spells to launch lightning fast strikes at their enemies. Librarian dreadnoughts are armed with two dreadnought close combat weapon arms, one being the standard Furioso Power Fist. The other arm, however, is equipped with a uniquely crafted Force Halberd, a type of force weapon that is a much larger dreadnought-sized version of a standard force weapon used by Librarian Space Marines. Force weapons are psychically attuned close combat weapons, augmented by the coursing energy channeled from the Psyker. They act as extensions of the wielder's own psychic powers that can transfer deadly warp energies from the wielder's mind directly to the flesh of their targets upon impact. Force weapons are especially effective against demonic entities that have an unnatural resistance to conventional weaponry. Such enemies can be slain outright by a single strike from a force weapon, as their bodies and minds are destroyed by the unearthly powers of the Immaterium. As with other variants of Furioso Dreadnoughts, the close combat weapon arms can mount either an underslung Storm Bolter, Heavy Flamer or Melter Gun for added fire support. And like regular Librarians, a Librarian Dreadnought also possesses a built-in Psychic Hood to help amplify their powers and to offer protection from enemy Psychic Assaults. As only a few among the chapter are gifted with the ability to harness the powers of the Warp, Librarian Dreadnoughts are also the rarest variant of Furiosa Dreadnought. They often slumber for centuries on end within the stasis sealed vaults at the heart of the Blood Angels Fortress Monastery, until such desperate times when they are awoken to walk the battlefields of the Imperium once more.